when people discovered cells, it became immediately important to know what a, the cell was surrounded by a wall, but then they discovered the wall was consisting of lipids and proteins, and then it became immediately important to study these uh, proteins in the lipid membrane. 70 years, people tried to, di to discover protein by protein, isolated and these things. That is uh, uh, of big importance because people discovered also that the communication between cells and the communication internally in the body is done by small molecules like hormones and these things. And they, these hormones couple to these proteins in the membrane. Otherwise, they cannot influence the behavior of the cell. So it was immediately clear when you know about the, the structure and function of a membrane protein, you have something very good in your hand, which has to do with, with your health and so on. And also uh, with the understanding of what is going on in our body when uh, from, from pineal gland, for instance, to here and so on. So these glands, they produce hormones and small molecules and put it into your cell and, and these cells, some organs here uh, in, in your body put molecules to your, to your brain and so on. So it is vice versa. And that is quite interesting to understand the whole organism, yeah, how it works. And the first membrane protein I was at that time interested in was uh, bacteriodopsin from this archibacterium which at that time was uh, many laboratories liked to solve the structure. And I also tried, uh, and as I told before, 40 years uh, people tried to solve the structure and then after 14 years it was a man in the biocenter in Basel who, got, who created a method uh, by which membrane proteins uh, could be more easily crystallized than before. before you see, uh, the first membrane protein which was crystallized was a reaction center which was done by Hartmut Michel. In, he is now in Frankfurt. Uh, and he got a Nobel Prize of sort f uh, for it. But this uh, was done in a conventional way. And this man in Basel, Rosenbusch, Jörg Rosenbusch, he uh, found a new method because, you see, in the old method, membrane proteins were uh, solubilized in detergent. And detergent is not like in a membrane. So Rosenbusch thought, let us crystallize this protein directly in a membrane. And that was the idea which was really successful after a while because also the first G-protein coupled receptors was done last year with this method. <laughs>